James Murdoch, who is the son of Rupert Murdoch, has decided to step down uh, from basically the News International. It's the uh, British newspaper subsidiary. And um, he is now going to focus on television. Uh, so, oh, wow, what an emotion. <laughs> so he's basically going to move from Europe to New York City and focus on the television portion of this huge media empire. <laughs> Which the TV version. Uh, portion of it is much larger. Definitely. New York is of course much more of a center than London. I know that within News Corp for because of Rupert Murdoch, the you know, this portion of the business in London is prized and it's a very important thing and it was a stepping stone to actually taking over the company. So it is a demotion uh, and at least for some period of time he's going to have to go to Siberia known as New York, <laughs> you know, and be outcast into the TV division, etc. So like it has had some consequences, and the board is the whoever is independent on the board is pissed at Mur James Murdoch, and they want him to step down, et cetera. And he definitely knew, and that's why they've had to take this action, which Rupert Murdoch didn't want to take at all. It's kind of a comical punishment, but it is at least a, a, a thing that he's got to overcome. Which, given enough time, of course he can overcome. His last name is Murdoch. Right. Uh, look, it, it is definitely a comical punishment. And look, everyone can read right through it, right? So their attempt at making matters better with uh, these British newspapers is not making matters better at all. If anything, authorities that are investigating this case and people who are actually paying attention to this trial are going to look at this and they're going to laugh and they're going to think they're even bigger clowns than before. But the whole thing reeks of uh, circus, okay? Yes. Uh, James Murdoch's excuse for not reading a memo that was sent to him that, uh, by the way, he actually did click on and as we know he did read about the phone hacking scandal. He says, oh yeah, yeah, I clicked on it and I read the top but I, I, I didn't want to scroll down on my Blackberry. That's why I didn't read the relevant parts of the memo. Oh, come, come, on. On, come 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 on. It's like the world's worst excuse. And remember his other excuse was, I authorized the payments for all the people who got their phone hacked including millions of dollars overall, right? Mm -hmm. But he's like, but I didn't ask what the payments were for. <laughs> I mean, I don't care how large your company is. You're not signing away millions of dollars without asking, hey, what am I giving the millions of dollars for? Anyway, if you are, then if you're actually doing that, then you're the worst boss and the worst manager. And then the independent guys on the board are definitely right. You should be nowhere near management. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's very damning on James Murdoch. Definitely. And you know, what's amazing is like the thought process of the incredibly wealthy, right? Mm -hmm. You can buy anything. In the United States, if you're incredibly wealthy, you buy any politician you'd like. If you're working in the media and you're extremely wealthy, well, duh, all you need to do is buy your sources. You pay them large sums of money, you pay corrupted officials large sums of money, and you get the story. So now we get to the heart of the problem here for News Corp. Okay. So today, uh, Chris Bryant, who is in uh, uh, a politician in the UK came out. He was one of the guys who was uh, uh, tapped, and he got actually a thirty thousand a thirty thousand pound settlement for uh, being uh, for his having a phone being hacked. I should say, um, came out and said, "Hey, you know what? The U.S. should investigate News Corp under the Foreign Cor Corrupt Practices Act because it is inarguable that they bribed cops here in the UK. It's true. There's no argument about that whatsoever." They definitely bribed the cops. Mm -hmm. And that is definitely illegal under US law. And News Corp is based in the United States of America. So if we had any decent Justice Department, they would go, well, this is the most obvious violation of the Foreign Cor Corrupt Pr Practices Act ever. It's out in the open. Mm -hmm. But our Justice Department is scared to death of Fox News. Uh, can you imagine Eric Holder brings a case against News Corp? Okay? Fox News would be like, oh my God, it's a political case. Eric Holder should step down or be impeached. How dare he? He's after obviously going after his political opponents, blah, 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 blah. Are you, Eric Holder shakes in his boots thinking about that. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, it's an obvious violation, but Mike, I, I can't do it. <laughs> they would yell at me at Fox News. When is Eric Holder ever going to do anything? Anything? 